The following video is taken from a Udemy video course that teaches Spring Cloud and microservices from the very beginning. If you're just starting with Spring Boot microservices and Spring Cloud and you need a step-by-step -step guidance, then this video course is exactly what you're looking for. The link to a video course and to other Spring Cloud tutorials you'll find in the description to this video, and I hope you will find it helpful. In the following videos, you will learn how to encrypt a value stored in a configuration property, and this can be, for example, a password, and also how to configure Spring Cloud Config Service to decrypt an encrypted value. We have learned how to use Spring Cloud Config Service for centralized configuration, and also how it can serve configuration properties to our microservices from a remote Git repository or from a native file system. Now, our property files can contain sensitive information which we might not feel comfortable to keep in a clear text, especially when we upload this information to a third-party service. There is always a chance that our information can be compromised, and even if it happens, we still want to be protected. And an example of sensitive information which we do not want to keep in a clear text is a database password, for example, or JWT uh, secret key. And the good news is that Spring Cloud Config provides us with a very convenient way to encrypt configuration properties so that we can keep them in a remote property file protected. We can encrypt the value of any selected property which we feel is a sense of information. And then Spring Cloud Config will decrypt it for us automatically when serving these values to our microservices. Spring Cloud Config supports two different encryption types, symmetric encryption and asymmetric encryption. Symmetric encryption is a bit quicker to set up and is a bit easier to use. We will need to come up with a unique alphanumeric string of characters which will be used as an encryption key. This same key will then be used to encrypt and to decrypt information. And you do not really need to have any additional programming skills uh, to be able to encrypt or decrypt information. It is all done behind the scenes for us by the framework and is made extremely simple for us to use. Now, asymmetric encryption is a superior type of encryption and it requires us to use a Java command line utility called KeyTool. We will use KeyTool to generate a password protected key store file. This uh, key store file will contain a private and a public key which will be used for encryption and decryption of information. The encryption will be done with the public key and the private key is needed to decrypt that information. And the process of encrypting and decrypting information with asymmetric encryption is also done behind the scenes for us. It's pretty simple to use and you will have it set up in just a few minutes. So let's actually do it so that you can see it in practice.